Welcome to Well Crafted Studio. I'm here to help you live inspired and create with purpose. So let's get started. So today I have how to make layers for Cricut with Procreate. This is something I just figured it out and I am like so super excited. I was telling everybody and nobody cared, but you guys will. So if you have Procreate and if you have a Cricut, so this is, this is like the coolest hack ever. So this afternoon I was trying to create multiple layers in Cricut for different pieces of vinyl that I'm going to do because I'm going to cut the vinyl on different colors and so I wanted to actually have different layers. So to do that, I was going into the Cricut and I was uploading my design and I was going through the contour prop, um, function and clicking on and clicking off and it was taking for forever and it was kind of confusing and this is, I thought was a really simple design, actually had a lot of things to click on. So then I was looking and I'm like, okay, so I'm gonna try, you know, chain, creating layers as I was importing the image initially. That wasn't awesome either. So Hours later, I realized that I can use the reference layers function in Procreate to actually create these layers. So the design originally I did in Procreate, and so I already had it there. So here's layer one is this finished design. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where we go and I'm click on layer one and then down here in that side menu, reference. So now it says layer one reference. So I'm going to go ahead and do the plus symbol, and now I have a layer on top of that. So for each one of my layers that I want to create for colors, there's like three different ones. I'm going to use different colors to create a different layer. So I'll make it kind of like I'm going to make it look. So my idea is that I'm going to have a green, blue-green, and do that for the mountains and for the outline. Use it for the snowflakes. So what I'm doing is I'm just touching the, the in the corner, I'm touching the circle, and then I'm dragging it over onto my screen to where I want it to go. So I've got some little pieces here. There we go. So now, oops, I erased part of it. So I'm gonna go back and, okay. So now I'm gonna make this smaller again so you guys can see. Oops, and I missed a piece here. But if I click off on this and click off that reference layer, you can see that I've got all one color here. So that's like one layer, which is, again, saved me half an hour in Cricut. So in design space. So now I'm gonna go ahead and click that on again. I'm gonna do a plus sign. I'm gonna do my next layer of color. So I'm gonna go ahead and my idea is to use a red for the snow, oops. And so I didn't actually get it right on the snow, and so it filled this whole thing, which I don't want it to do. I just want to do it like this. So you can undo in Procreate, no problem, just double tapping or using the little arrow on the side that shows back. Okay, so there I've got my dashing, and I've got my snow. And then the final color I'm going to use was is going to be a black, but in order for me to be able to see that I have everything that I know, all the pieces, and instead of going over it with the black, I'm going to go over it with another color. Well, like, how about we do this kind of blue-green? So again, I'm just dragging the color down, filling in all the little pieces, and doing the same thing with these words. So this design is actually one that my son came up with and I've been working on. Oops, and again, I filled in the wrong area. So I'm gonna just go back to that undo and there we go. And I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on how to make a Christmas t-shirt using it. So I was trying to get those separate layers. All right, so now if we go ahead, oops, and look, click off that bottom layer We've got three other layers here. And if I click them off one by one, you can see each individual layer. So now we're gonna keep the background off because we want transparent background. And I'm gonna go ahead and come up to the wrench. And that's gonna give me different options. We're gonna choose share. And then at the bottom here, it says share layers. So we're gonna do PNG files. That's exporting. And I'm going to put save for images. 
Now, if we look into here, so I already did this once, but you can see the different layers. So I've got my reference layer, then I've got one color, two colors, three colors. So the reference layer, I didn't have to import, but I did because I'm going to use that to help me do placement when I actually get into Cricut. So there you go. That was a quick tutorial, but it was how to make layers for Cricut with Procreate. If you guys haven't tried um, combining Procreate and Cricut yet, but you're using an iPad, this is seriously the best thing that I think has ever happened to the Cricut world is to have these two things together. So yeah, anyhow, I'm excited. I hope you're excited too. Thanks for watching this tutorial. And if you found it helpful, please like, comment, or subscribe below. And for more tutorials like this, visit wellcraftedstudio.com.